Hello, this is lesson 3.8, the lesson on adding decimals. Uh, our essential question that will guide our learning is, how does place value help you add decimals? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, uh, number one, add numbers with decimals. And really, that's, that's the whole lesson. But there's a key component to this lesson, and that is uh, organization. We're going to be, in each number, finding the ones place, lining them up, and if you can do that, everything else um, is in its proper order or its proper place. All right, here's our notes. Please take a moment and write down the notes, the essential question. Uh, hopefully you've already written that one down, but that's uh, our essential question. And then there's only really one note, and that is to line up your place values. It's just so important. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to find the ones place in each number, line them up, and then everything else will be in line automatically. So here's our example, 34.162. And the key to this is taking your highlighter and highlighting the ones place. And then if you're adding that to another number, highlight the ones place in that number, stack them up, and you're going to do very, very well. All right, so we're going to practice that right now, uh, lining up the place values. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my highlighter, I'm going to highlight the ones place in this number, and I'm going to highlight the ones place in this number. Once you've highlighted the ones place in each number, it's time to write them down. So I'm going to write 2.35, and then finding the ones place in this number, making sure I write the ones place right below the other one, 1 1.82. Uh, and we're going to be adding those together. Uh, and again, organization is the key. Make sure your ones are lined up. If you line up your ones, then your tenths will be lined up and your hundredths will be lined up. And then at that point, it's uh, simple addition. Five plus two, seven. We're adding up the hundredths now. Adding up the tenths, three plus eight is eleven tenths. Regrouping it into the ones here. One plus two plus one is four. So. The math is really third grade math. The organization is where uh, fifth graders need to uh, really pay attention. All right, here we have 20.4 and 13.76. Now in the last example, the numbers were the same length and they had the same number of decimal spaces after uh, the decimal. And this one, it's different. This one only has tenths and this one has tenths and hundredths. So the old way of lining everything up to the right is not going to work out for this one. So I really need to identify where the ones place are. For the ones place are right next to the decimal on the left side of the decimal. So I have the zero in this number is the, um, the ones place and the three in this number is the ones place. And when I write 20.4, I'm going to make sure that when I write 13.76 that the three is right below the zero. So I'm going to be very careful to do that. All right, the three is below the zero. That means the decimal and the tenths and the hundredths are all lined up. All right, now I have a voided space here. It's a, a nothing. And any time you have a nothing in a decimal number, you can just add a zero on there. And it's going to be our placeholder. And at that point, again, it becomes very simple addition. Zero plus six, six. Uh, four plus seven is 11. 1 plus 0 plus 3 is 4, and then 3 at the end. Never forget your decimal point. All right, let's get our book pages out so we can do a little book learning. Went a little bit too fast there. All right, so problem number one is we're going to make an estimate first, and then uh, we're going to add those. So hmm, our estimate, 2.5 is close to 3. 4.6 is close to 5, and so our estimate would be 5 plus 3 is 8. So our estimate's going to be it's going to be somewhere around 8. If it's right on 8, that's great. If it isn't right on 8, it's got to be somewhere near 8. All right, now we're going to go to the graph paper and say uh, 2.5 and 4.6. We're going to make sure that we identify our ones place, and that's the 2 and the 4. Uh, and then we can go ahead and write it on the graph paper and solve this problem. So it's 2.5, that's the first number, and then 4.6, making sure that the 4 is right below the 2. And then adding, 
5 plus 6 is 11. And that's 11 tenths, so I regroup one, 10 of those to make a 1, 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. And then again, never forgetting your decimal. So the answer, 7.1. Is it close to 8? It's pretty close to 8. At least it isn't like 71 or something like that. That would be really far from 8. So we're in the right ballpark, and we're going to say, I think we did a, a pretty good job on that one. All right, now, number two, uh, estimating. 8.75, that is very close to 9. 6.43 is closer to 6 than it is to 7. And so uh, we'll add 9 plus 6 together to get 15. So our answer is going to be somewhere around 15. It might be a little bit more, like might be a little bit less. Uh, and we'll find out when we actually do the math now. <clears throat> but at least we have a ballpark uh, figure of where we want to be. Next step, finding the ones place. I have the 8 and the 6 are in the ones place, so when I write the problem on my graph paper, I'm going to make sure that the 8 and the 6 are lined up. 8.75 and then 6.43 is the other number. The 8 and the 6 are lined up perfectly. All right, so then it's just addition. 5 plus 3 is 8. 7 plus 4 is 11. And then 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 6 is 15. And now you have the answer 15.18. Is it close to our estimate? Yeah, it's pretty close. 15 and 15.18 are uh, in the same ballpark. So we know we're, we're on the right path there. All right, last uh, problem from this section. We have 2.03. And we're going to round that. So it's going to become... 2 because it's very close to 2. Then we have 7.89 and we're going to round that up to 8. And so our estimate is going to be 2 plus 8 which is 10. So we're going to need to be somewhere around 10 with our answer. All right again identifying your ones place. Here's the ones place in that number. Here's the ones place in that number. And well it's already lined up for you. So uh, it, it's going to be simple when it's like this. When they're side by side it takes a little bit more care, or when there's not the same number of decimal spaces, it takes a little bit more uh, thinking. This one, uh, you can still, or you can do it wrong and still get it right, but hopefully you're doing it right and getting it right, which uh, will make everybody happy. All right, so we lined up our ones and lined up everything else. So it's nine plus, or three plus nine is 12. And then one plus zero plus eight is nine. And then 2 plus 7 is 9. So our answer is 9.92, which is uh, very close to 10. Terrific. Let's move on. All right, for these, what I want you to do is I would like you to pause the video, do the work, then restart the video and watch the answers again. All right, so pause the video now and complete these two problems. All right, these problems are going to be solved with the same method that we did before. We're going to estimate first. 6.34, that's pretty close to 6. 3.8 is close to 4, and so 6 plus 4 equals 10. That's our estimate. <clears throat> and now, adding them to find out, I'm going to find the ones place. There's the ones place there, and that's the ones place there. So when I line these up, or when I write them down, I'm going to make sure the ones are lined up. So first number is 6.34. Great. And then 3.8, making sure the, the 3 is right below the 6. And now I have an empty space here. On the end of a decimal number, you can add a 0 without changing the value at all. all right, once you have it set up, again, it's math is pretty simple here. It's about third grade level addition. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 8, 11. Then uh, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 3 is 10. And then not forgetting your decimal point. So our answer, 10.14. Is it close to the estimate? Yeah, it's very, very close to the estimate. All right, the second one, uh, we have 5.63, which is close to 6, and 2.6, which is close to 3. And uh, so our estimate, 6 plus 3, would be 9. Now let's go ahead and figure that out again. Let's find the ones place. There's the ones place there, and there's the ones place there. Uh, and once we identify the ones place, we can start to stack them up and make sure that all the place values are also in line. 
So writing down the first number, 5.63, then writing the second number with taking good care with having the 2 be below the 5. All right, so right from the, the ones place I know uh, I'm, I'm in line and everything else will be in line also. <clears throat> so we have 5.63 and then 2.6, and if we have uh, an empty space on the end of our decimal number, no problem adding a 0. And so once we have it set up, uh, it's pretty simple to add again. 3 plus 0 is 3, 6 plus 6 is 12, and then 1 plus 5 plus 2 is, uh, let's see, 6 plus 2 is 8. And so the answer, 823. And of course, uh, you should have been saying, uh, Mr. Hummer, you're wrong because you forgot the decimal point. It's 8.23. Alright, so when we move into our uh, student workbooks, the further examples are going to be working on page 137. Uh, so continue the page you're working on and do problems 6 through 11. Bring them to class tomorrow and we'll, um, we'll take care of the, the business from there. Alright, uh, good luck.